Hello everyone, it is I, Reverso, and welcome to today's newsflash. In this video I'll bring you guys the latest updates on events in Knights and Dragons. And as always, I'll go through them briefly and give you guys my thoughts and opinions about the events. So this week's newsflash is by far the best newsflash I've yet to present to you guys because the events are just stunning. Uh, so let's just jump ahead and take a look at them because the events for this week are... First we have a Guild War, the War of the Horse. We have 20% 20, 20 bonus energy when purchasing a, a energy pack in the arena. And then we have the new epic boss, the Neon. And last but definitely not least, we have the new arena weekly battle, the Fortune Frenzy. So currently it is the 31st of January and that means that the Frozen Fracas tournament has finally ended. And with that being said, let's just take a look at the three prestigious winners that are going to win a Tectonic Mantle. And, uh, oh wow, uh, <laughs> coming in first place we have Joe with over 1.3 million points winning the Tectonic Plus. Um, didn't I tell you like last week we would have like way more points than last week? Uh, anyway, second place we have uh, DV Sun Gamer. He managed to, uh, to to rack up almost 800,000 points. That's a huge gap between these two. And last but definitely not least, in third place we have Bethany with 569,000 points. And Sun Gamer and Bethany will also get their Tectonic Mantle as their reward. Uh, personally, I really feel that they've totally overdone themselves, these three, because the difference between rank 3 and rank 4 is over 200,000 points, just for your own, you know, for your own energy. To be honest, I think that's quite a waste, but you know, it's part of the game. They secured their weekly tectonics, so they've done pretty well. Personally, I've done pretty well as well. Uh, I am rank uh, 1820, and with that, I'm going to receive a bunch of armors, and I'm going to get 12 gems to use. And this week's arena tournament will take us to the um, to the Fortune Frenzy, where the new armor, the Almighty Ages of the Sky Majestic Plus, is waiting for us. And the Ages of the Sky Majestic is an air with a fire combination type of armor and is well known for being one of the best looking armors in the game. Now personally, I would definitely love to get my hands on one of these in the future. And if you just purely look at the stats of the plus version, I think it's worth getting. But with the current epics coming out, you know, the current epic bosses, I feel, you know, that you might want to consider or reconsider um, going for the second one because uh, the stats are pretty decent it's over like 31,000 it's not really going to take long anymore before the upcoming epic bosses will beat the stats of some of the epics that are very good right now uh, anyway the legendary for this week is really and I mean really disappointing it's another armor of the wolf it's not a good legendary at all I personally won't even bother aiming for the top 1,000 just for this armor uh, and as the ultra rare we have yet again another armor of the infernal lord and uh, I believe we had this like two weeks ago with the uh, blazeborn vanguard and we had it with during another guild war uh, pretty much this is all I have to say uh, about the arena itself um, also don't forget there is a sale ongoing right now in the arena when you purchase a pack you're going to get more energy in return and as always don't make sure that you don't forget to do your weekly quest because they're gonna end up giving you five gems once you fully complete it it's only gonna last for this week's arena quest so make sure that you get your five gems because they're definitely worth it and easy to do anyway going on with the next event actually a better event right now we'll be talking about another guild war yes another guild war I'm very very excited for this one because another new epic is coming out and this is not just an epic no this time we got another epic that just crushes the old records and stats um, we finally actually got an armor that breaks the magical 400,000 combined stats and this is the Cyclone Chainmail Plus. Now just take a look at this beauty. The, the armor is just so badass. I mean, the armor colors are just great in, in, in general. And I feel the sword is just amazing. I mean, I, I love it. And uh, the biggest downside really to this armor is really the fact that it's just a mono air type. But still, it's over 4k stats, man. You should be happy about this. Anyway, I'm so excited for this Guild War because I'm, the legendary is going to be very helpful for me in Fusion. It is the return of the Vesture of the Frost 
and if you guys probably can recall or not, this armor came up about two months ago, exactly two months ago with the Jack Frost, with the Jack Frost epic boss. So it's pretty good to see the return because I think the wind armor is always great to have for fusions. Now my only concern that I have right now is that the name of the guild, the guild war just doesn't fit at all. I mean, who the heck comes up with War of the Horse? And the epic armor being a slight cyclone chainmail. There's nothing to do with horses or like cyclones. There's no match there. I, I just don't see the connection between those two. But whatever. So yes, new guild war starts in about one and a half day. Make sure that you prepare war, uh, prepare well, war, uh, prepare well for this war. And as always, I'll be bringing you guys day by day reports on the guild war. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to follow Incognito's progress because I'm going to be very excited about this. Rounding off this news flash is this new epic boss. So we're taking a look at the new epic boss. Uh, the new epic boss is called Nian or Nyan or I'm just gonna go with Nian. Um, I think he looks pretty cool. The blue line with Super Saiyan hair fused with two unicorns. Pretty neat. I like it a lot. <laughs> The epic boss armor is the Neon, Neon War Gear with over 2800 combined stats in the plus version. And as a legendary, I think that's amazing. Definitely one of the best epic boss legendaries we've had up to this point. Uh, the design is very much like the Cloud Range Blade Mill. It's an epic if you guys don't know. Uh, but I personally like the Cloud Range a little bit better. Uh, but I personally don't feel this Neon War Gear is bad at all. I mean, it looks pretty bad at still. So. It's all to your personal preference. Uh, right now I'm actually aiming for rank 43 this week because yeah, I can then craft the plus version. And the weakness of this boss is earth and um, earth and wind. So I actually have like two armors ready to use against this boss. Um, currently I'm at level 24 to defeat and uh, I'm currently already in the progress of crafting the regular version too. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed about is that this week again we got another water type epic boss and I really hope that next week we'll get like a spirit epic boss or for a change or like a fire epic boss that would be pretty cool. So this is it we kind of like flew through our topics today and in a conclusion I feel this week is packed with some awesome events and I'll definitely be taking part in most of them and with that being said it's time to bring this week's news flash to an end. But before we round out this episode, I want to make a small announcement to you guys that starting tomorrow, I'll bring you guys a brand new series here on my channel, Reversal KMD, called Eternity Warriors 3. I'm personally very excited about this project, so make sure to look forward to that as well. And feel free to discuss everything related to today's video in the comment section below. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video, to BOOM! Give it a thumbs up. This was I, Reversal for Night Student Dragons, bringing your weekly updates and news, signing off.